Hey guys, this is Jay here to make a guide about Falcon's throws. We'll talk about his down throw, up throw, forth throw, and a little bit of his back throw. I'm not really aiming to tell people exactly what to do, any specific percents. Maybe I'll do that in the future for like character specific guides. This guy's more about examining um, what each throw is good at. What scenarios determines like the situations in which one throw is better than another. For example, like stage positioning or platforms. And I also want to see like how they do uses differs on like fast followers, semi floaties, and floaties. So wanna get right into it. Down throw good practice and reactions. Down throw works for like a very wide range of percentages even when Good opponents will typically always DI down in a way to make it as hard as possible. Most people will be throwing like an arc. Like that. And uh, pretty tough to cover uh, tech and play some no techs. But with good practice, you can like uh, have a high success rate. Especially when you play a dash back out of crouch, you can counter no tech. And it's a pretty useful throw at like like low to like pretty high percents. And like very high percents, they can go pretty far away, but you can still catch them, you see. Like uh So it gets, it's pretty hard at low percents, very low percents. And it could be hard at higher percents. The one main weakness is you can edge cancel, uh, Ghost can get edge canceled. I want to tech there. <clears throat> this is the one weakness of, uh, If he didn't tech in place, like, he'd slide off. Anyways, uh... That's the one weakness of down throwing a lot, is that um, good people are good at positioning themselves to edge cancel. Sometimes you want to just mix up the throws at this point to uh, fuck up positioning. Or, you go for the hard read. Anyways, point being, um, you know, down throw is obviously very good at a wide range of percents. And learning this tech chase game on every fast faller or say semi floaties, the yeah, down in a way is uh, extremely important. <clears throat> if you can't pull it off, then it's a huge, uh, a huge flaw in your gameplay. Fox has a short tech roll, as shown. Falco has a longer one. Falco has a longer tech roll. As does uh, Falcon. Very important to practice um, on all three. All right, most char relevant characters in general. Like uh, a common mistake I see like beginners do, they they cover every character like they're fighting a fox. So you know. They have tech rolls that go like further in or out for the fox, and they, they still try to cover like a fox, they just whiff. They ain't too short. It's a huge mistake, and something you can't, uh, you know, it's pretty trash. You, you read them, but you, you whiff. I see a lot of people still do that. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, Fast Fathers. Pretty damn useful, gotta be careful of. Uh, Edge cancels. Also, the top pros are most used to uh, finding versus down throw. So the defense will be usually be very, very strong in terms of like DI. But if you really practice your your uh, punish game on down throws with down throws, then um, you know you become like a wizzy type. It doesn't matter how they DI or what they do, they're fucked. If you get that good at, at doing it. <coughs> and then people will be. Shitting their pants when you grab them. It's like you're a wobbler. So, yeah, that's pretty solid. Wizzy makes it work. Semi floaties. 
It can be similar to, um... To fast followers, say, if they die down in a way. Since it's another tech G scenario. Sheik is actually a very tough one. Her back, her back roll and um, attack in place, it's like very hard to react to both. Animation cues are not quite the same as the other uh, throws. Overall tough, but I think it's doable. Some people say it's impossible, why disagree? You gotta be careful when they DI like up and in. Some people just assume they'll like land. And it's like a tech chase game, but they can actually escape. Krishi can like chain grab or near them. Again, as you can react to like a. I don't want to go over like every percentage range at low percents, but you can like totally react and like do a move. You know. So, it's good to do random DI's practice and like uh, be able to like. See, oh, okay. DI it up, down again. Time to attack chase. Oh, DI it in. Okay, time to hit him. It's like a Marth. Marth's pretty interesting because um, they can apparently like escape in time and not have to tech, tech, like uh, be tech chase. But I haven't seen a single Marth actually like escape like the down throw uh, tech chase game here like the CPUs do. Not even Zane. So, I can't really show it on Uncle Punch, but this will be a tech chase game on down throw. And you also still have to be wary about uh, the DI in. Then you gotta react and do a move. So I'm gonna do both. Interesting to note that um, it seems like you can actually chain grab Mark and down throw away at low, very low percents. Kinda hard to do. <clears throat> also, against Marth, um, 20 GX has believed that down throw up air. It's like good in every situation, except like really high percents. I, in practice, I'm not very good at uh, connecting it, but I've seen Wizzy play Zane, and he'll never not go for down throw up at any percents. I mean, you can kind of like connect pretty hard off of it on, on hits, especially like in mid percents. So I see, I see the the logic behind it. I'm still more of a mix guy. I still like to like mix in like nares and other moose. But 20 GXers and Wizzy, they are very by the book. And they have a lot of success just doing down throw up at any percent. <clears throat> I had to point that out. Let's look at like floaties. Buff down throw is like insanely good. The problem is getting the actual throw, because buff can duck. But it's something you have to like aim to get. Because you can't just like uh Typically down throw knee is like very easy to hit with practice. It's very brutal, but puff can duck. You gotta be you gotta, you gotta be pretty quick. Because the down throw is very quick on puff. But it's really good at any percent to get down throw puff. Again, the problem is getting the grab itself, but you gotta be creative and find ways to do it. You gotta like try to make puff not wanna stay in shield or or like stay in shield, catch your jumping, or make you not wanna crouch. So extremely getting this puff. Hard to get the kill without uh, getting the grab at higher percents. Also pretty good against Peach. Now Peach is interesting because uh, I find you can like connect down throw up here on the AOA with that. Again, pretty good move. Uh, Peach is at high, high percent. Scott it used to be down throw knee used to be free. It's still pretty good at like a. Uh, there's like a sweet spot percent that down throw knee can actually still connect pretty often. 
even the CPU is escaping. Like this is when like a slight mistake in DI like can connect it down to a knee. But as you can see, like the pros are good at like a uh, good DI and wiggling out and air dodging. Still, you can still play a game where uh, you either air dodge and then you hit them. So that's mostly it for down throws. The weakness is uh. Again, most people are good at edge canceling down to the safety, so that prompts the usage of like the other throws, like up throw, fourth throw. And it's not very easy to react to tech chase with down throw against people with good defense, so you have to be very quick and well practiced. And if you're a little bit off, it's enough to like ruin everything because like a fox will technically shine you and potentially kill you, reverse you, and kill you. You see Wizzy on a bad day, he gets smoked. He can't do his like, game plan of very quick and efficient tech chasing. And um, again, you gotta be good at reacting when like a semi floaty like Sheik or Mark Diaz in. <coughs> so let's talk about up throw. Training up throw can be a good mix up versus fast followers at low percents. Typically, it's not as optimal as down throw at very low percents. Um, you can't DI like at, at, as far away, which is like the huge draw. Once you get to like low mid, um, the up throw attack chasing becomes pretty easy. Becomes pretty pretty easy. Um, what you do you gotta be careful of is that some some guys can like uh, escape at a certain percent. Yeah, they can escape. Good pros can like wiggle out, match left right to get out. Falco can escape at a lo little less percent than Fox. Not by like a lot, but it's still a thing. Falcon can escape like at 50 something percent based on the DI. So, up throw can be more free, but there's also like the thing where they can escape. Unlike down throw. So, gotta be careful. Again, most people won't escape like that, but the, the best players will. Good players will, so. How does up throw um, fare against semi floaties? Well, this is a nun tactic. Not really a mere wizard tactic, but nun does it. I actually noticed he really likes doing this. Like a uh, up throw. <laughs> up throw knee. Up throw well spaced knee, like a. Uh, as you can see, like they can like do a move or air dodge out. But if you like space it well or time it well, you can like knee them after the move comes out or they land. <coughs> And something none likes to do a lot. Same thing with Marth. I personally don't prefer it at all, but uh, I've seen Ed use it and find success with it. Pretty good as a mix-up, at least. If he can get the hits, which none is good at doing. And um, our throw is quite good once you uh. Get him at like a pretty high percent. You can up throw, up there. You know, once you get into like this percentage range, you don't suck like me. You can like uh, hit them, grab them again, double up around stage. Once you get like a streak to like this percentage and you get a grab, you're loving life. You get a pretty like up air follow up. Maybe throwing a jab between the upper and the second grab if you have to. Sometimes the pop up is enough to like guarantee the grab. Optional. Situational. 
Okay, what else? Um, sometimes duck throw is uh, awkward. Here's like a scenario that's pretty fucking common. Um, you up throw like a Marth, and then they'll be dead, dead behind you. And they can react typically before uh, you can like hit them with the aerial. I found the most success with turning turn around single jab. It's like the only successful like move I've done. Otherwise you get like reversal. And even then it's pretty it's a pretty still a pretty awkward choice. But at least you can like maybe make him do something dumb. Anyways, yeah, you gotta be careful of that. I'm almost Every player I see, even the pretty good ones, always try to hit Mark when they DA behind. So, I just don't up throw in that spot. Another reason why I don't like uh, up throwing a low percent, like none does. If they DA behind you like that, then, um, awkward scenario. <coughs> Another problem with up throw is, uh, platforms. So, if they can get to the platform and peck really quickly, you either don't have enough time to hit them, or you can only get like an up air and they like slide off, or but they're usually going to be safe. So you don't want to up throw here um, necessarily. You're not going to get as much if he's done like another throw. You can do something gimmicky like uh, jump up and grab him up to keep shielding, or up beat them. Again, not the best possible follow-ups, as opposed to like a uh, down throw. Instead of like wanting to up throw and have like an easier tech chase, just like down throw here and uh, you know, keep it going. Instead of like uh, this, the up throw, take the place, they're gonna escape. A lot of people like still do it. Again, up, up you only have time for an upper. It's just not that juicy, and pros will always escape. Sometimes up throw is still edge cancelable. Maybe not the best. Yeah, sometimes you can, they can still be edge cancelled. Um, some pros can like see you down throw or up throw them. They just adjust your DI like perfectly and they edge cancel and escape. Is it as often as down throw? Nah, not really, but... It's still something you gotta think about. So yeah, that's like up throw in a nutshell. What about forward throw? Why do I like forward throw? Well, for tech Jason, it's a little... It's not nearly... It's like definitely worse overall than like down throw or up throw. You can still kind of make it work sometimes based on DI. Its main draw is that you can like forward throw and unlike spots where down throw or up throw, they can like escape. This one usually like sets up like a scenario way more often than those throws where you can like actually play the recovery edge guard uh, mix up game. That's the main use I've seen for it, for it throw. Um, and it's pretty huge. They can't edge cancel, then um, you force like a, a mix up recovery thing and you can kill them. It's something a lot more Falcons to use. It's like mostly just for that, but that, that one use is pretty big. Okay, last is back throw. Overall, a pretty sh shitty fucking throw. That's usually like a miss input. I, I don't see most people want to actually back throw. But I will admit, there's some creativity and jank you can do. I could give some usage. Like, for example. I've done this to like Marth sometimes. I mean, you can say the Marth players I played are like stupid and bad, but spots like these where you can like back throw and force like a tech in place because of how uncommon it is, they'll get well, and then you can like uh, back throw onto the platform. 
for like a jank follow up. I've done it sometimes against Mars with success. It's good like once in a while. Um, if you backfire him to a bunch of shy guys, that could fuck up the DI and actually make it pretty usable. After I'm done showing um, something else, you can backfire off of Randall. After I'm done talking about Randall, I'll show you like an example a clip of me backfiring some of the shy guys and it paid off big time. So here you can like, uh, right around here you grab somebody and you back throw them. You can back throw them. And Randall disappearing underneath your feet will cancel the animation. So you can like quickly wall jump after you back throw and do that. In fact, you can like back throw at a timing where, uh, the actual move won't go off, but you'll still put him like, uh, up into the right above Falcon. And that could be good enough to like throw him off. And just, just you know, ball jump and hit him. It's like a Yappe trick I noticed that he likes to do. And I think there's some decent usage for that. Pretty good team combos. Otherwise, uh, not the best throw, but if you're creative, you're playing like the right stage. Uh, super mix up against like some floaties or uh, some floaties like you could make it usable. I want to say it's useless. It's u it usually sucks, you know, but I want to say useless. So let's see a clip of back throw being very strong. I had like a, a clip from the Golden Guardians trailer for uh, me versus Cody, and they had a good clip of me showing me owning him, or some fox with uh, the back there. Try to find him real quick. There we go. Right here. I hit him to shy guys. It totally fucked up his DI and he missed his tech. Then neutral get up. See that's 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 using some good written improv with shy guys. Shy guys uh just bumping into them like between these two like totally fucked them up. So yeah, that's like back throw. Could do some jank. Bullshit like that. Um, and the guide isn't meant to tell people exactly what to do in every situation. It's more to give information about throws and decide what's optimal. So if I'm going to mix it up, second, third, best choice. It's more my style, like, and nuns, even though we have differences in the throws themselves. So you should experiment to find what's best for you and employ some creativity. Anyways, thanks for watching.